And welcome to another week of Georgia Southern Football. I'm Josh Aubrey coming to you from Paulson Stadium as the Georgia Southern Eagles get set to take on the Furman Paladins. The Eagles coming off a one-point victory against Chattanooga last week here at Paulson Stadium. Furman comes in 3-2, and two, coming off a loss to Sanford. The Eagles and Paladins, a long history between the two teams, including play for national championships back in the 80s. How will this one go? Well, let's send you right out for the action. A picture-perfect day Saturday, Georgia Southern hosting their longest rival in the Southern Conference. The Furman Paladins would pick up the action in the first quarter. The Eagles on the run, and it's the pitch to J.J. Wilcox, who gets a nice block and fights his way ahead for a first down. This drive capped off by a pitch to Wilcox for the five-yard touchdown. Eagles up 7-0 after a Furman touchdown and an Eagle blocked extra point return for a score. Georgia Southern going to the air, and it's Jonathan Bryan on the receiving end, and this will be capped off by J. Bo Shaw going in for the score, and it's 16-6. Georgia Southern on top. We move to the second quarter, and Tursu Uha from Chris Forcier. This cuts the lead to 16-13. to The Eagles going right back and going to the air, and J. Bo Shaw with the pass ahead to Zach Walker down for a first down for a 50-yard pickup, and this would lead to the pitch from Shaw to Jonathan Bryan, who goes around the far side, 14 yards for the score. The Eagles up 23 to 13. Still in the second quarter, Furman looking to get a field goal on the board, but this one blocked, the Eagles recover, and this would actually lead to the Eagles trying to march downfield for some Late second quarter scoring, and J. Bo Shaw hooks up with Jarek McKinnon for the first down. This drive stalls. Adrian Mora comes in. He splits the uprights, and it's 26 to 13 at the half. Second half, Mora picks up where he left off. This time with a 49-yarder. 29 to 13, Georgia Southern at this point. The Eagles back on defense, and the defense playing solid in the second half. This time, it's Brent Russell coming through. With the sack, back to offense we go. Eagles on the move, J. Bo Shaw back to the air. This time he finds Tyler Sumner to the 23. And then it's J. Bo with the pitch. Jonathan Bryant fights his way ahead just shy of the goal line. From there, it's Shaw going in himself from the one. And we rarely show extra points, but this time we're gonna make an exception as Adrian Mora will become the all-time leader in consecutive PATs, 127. Congratulations to the Eagles senior. Georgia Southern trying to make it 128 in a row. First they march downfield, Darren Robinson gets down to the 32. That would take us to the fourth quarter, 36-13 still Georgia Southern and Robert Brown Goes in for the touchdown to make it 43 to 13. Furman adds a touchdown, but later, Izzy Uyut wipes that one off with this nice 36 yard score as he dives for the pylon. And Eagles score the most points they've ever scored against the Furman Paladins, winning 50 to 20. Have you seen the newly remodeled Pro Shop at Hackers? If not, you're going to be surprised. Completely renovated wall to wall and filled with a new stock of the brand names you know and trust. Titleist, the best name in golf balls. Clubs by Cleveland, Ping, and more. Footwear by Adidas, Footjoy, and Nike. A wide selection of golf clothing and accessories, including GSU wear. It's all at the newly remodeled Pro Shop and Driving Range at Hackers. 2802 Old Register Road, Statesboro. I think we just came out, you know how the heated rivalry is against Furman, you know, and everything. But I think we just came out a lot more heated and we, I think we just really wanted it more, you know. So I think, I think this was a good game, a great intense game. This week of practice was a lot tougher. And we, knew, we knew this is Furman, it's a big rivalry game. And we knew we had to come out here and play with all our hearts and play, play for the brotherhood, for, for the guys that played back, back in the 80s. And we knew, we knew how much it meant to them and how much it meant to the 90s and how much it meant to us. Um, last week, you know, we had a lot of mental mistakes. We uh, went back into the meeting rooms and back to the practice field, and uh, the coaches uh, watched the film with us and made the corrections. And uh, I just think we did a great job coming out here against a great team in Furman and just executing what we did during the week out here on Saturday. Yeah, we had a good week of practice, and 
uh, we didn't have any turnovers today. So anytime we can take care of the ball and the, way, the offense that we run, you know, we're going to be okay for the most part. So uh, I just thought the offense, we executed a little bit better today. I'm excited for our kids. I'm, I'm particularly excited for our seniors. It's their last opportunity to play uh, what's probably been this, this school's biggest rivalry over the history of our program. And, and uh, I just kids did a great job in the second half of really just uh, fighting and, and uh, keeping them out of the end zone, getting enough points to stretch the lead. And uh, we, uh, you know, we, just, we just played a really solid second half, and I was proud of our guys for that.